that for a while. Oh man. See, I knew it would be worth saving it for this video. And welcome back to TSPEC TV and to the first video of 2021. Today I want to talk a little bit about what's to come for the channel as well as the Defender and then go for the first proper drive of the Defender since we did the clutch swap last year. I'll explain what I mean by that a little bit later on. So 2020 saw a lot of changes for this Defender and I can assure you that this year is going to be very much the same and I'll give you some hints let's say as to what is to come for this Defender very very soon. But first let's have a look back at last year and what we did. We started out the year by fitting the ORE heavy duty bumper up front and thanks to their awesome powder coating system it still looks as good as new apart from being a little bit dirty of course uh, as well as the ORE steering guard which uses the same powder coating system uh, which has been on for even longer but still looks as good as new um, despite everything that that has to be put through uh, sitting down there. Um, we also did ORE, uh, not ORE, sorry, Tough Rock stainless steel mud flap brackets at the rear as well at the same time, which match nicely with the new cross member. And then January, February last year, I think it was, the new sawtooth alloy wheels, which was a big change I was really, really excited about. Um, and that coincided with the Devante Terratura all terrain tyres, which I've been really, really happy with. And we'll be doing a review uh, of these and putting them through their paces as well at some point this year. And then, other than that, we had some cool cosmetic changes as well to really give it a refresh and a makeover. So I resprayed the light uh, surrounds and the grill at the front here, fitted stainless steel uh, screws. We had new Tornado Halo headlights from Tough Rock there, which I've been really pleased with. They're really bright and they just look awesome um, in person and in pictures. The black checker plate up on the bonnet. The whole windscreen wiper situation had a makeover as well because they were a bit dodgy for ages. Then a new windscreen washer jet in the center because if you know Defenders you know the standard one is a bit crap. So that was an upgrade I was really happy to have even though it's something so small. And then a few other nice little touches like the light guards on the side from Tough Rock. Uh, black badges as well to match all the kind of black theme contrast color I've got going on as well. Oh and a big one as well for a long time that needed doing the wing here finally got replaced and if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I'm talking about the the wing on the right hand side here had a dent in it for a very very long time uh, and I just only got around to fixing it last year and it finally looks awesome again from both sides this Defender rather than always sticking to this side as I used to for filming and taking pictures because it had a dent on the other one and I finally got it fixed. Then the interior, uh, I'm not sure much changed in here last year. Um, we had the new heat events down there on the bottom from George Grafton on Instagram, I'll put his handle on the screen, um, but they're adjustable heat events which can be rotated so they point downwards or upwards, a really nice little simple change. Um, and some other changes will be coming on the interior this year as well in terms of the center console and the driver's zone, let's say, to sound a little bit posh. Um, oh, also these, they're new. These uh, kick plates on the doors, really, really nice little thing actually to have in there. Ignore my rust. Maybe I'll blur that out. Um, and then coming around to the rear, going inside reminds me that we also did this. The Exmoor trim acoustic matting on here, which gives a really nice wipe clean surface as well as deadening some of the road noise. Um, because of course before I just had bare metal in here since we did the cross member swap a couple years back. So what's next? I'm sure you're wondering. Well, last year we started out by changing the front end here a little bit with the new bumper and I can tell you that this front end view is going to be changing very soon once again this year. So if you go and follow ORE 4x4 on Instagram, 
then uh, you might get a little teaser as to what is what is to come and I'm really really excited um, for this this modification or these modifications I should say is not something I thought I'd be doing uh, but actually really really excited for it now so that is just a little bit of information about what is to come for the Defender this year and that doesn't of course include all of the other vehicles that we feature on this channel so there is a lot more to come and I do want to talk a bit more about upcoming videos and how TSPEC TV is going to be expanding this year shall we say so I suggest we jump in and go for a little spin judging by my Instagram feed it seems like there's been quite a bit of snow over the UK today which is a bit annoying because we haven't really had any here um, we had a tiny 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 it's been too long since I've done a video. We had a tiny sprinkling uh, over a few days, I think a week or two ago, and that's been about it, which is a shame. Now it's just kind of grey and wet and muddy like it always is in January and February. So fingers crossed that snow that's in the UK right now will come over here because we haven't had proper snow you can go out and play with since we had that beast from the east storm a few years ago. So yeah, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get warmed up because I am getting chilly in here. <laughs> video that this would be the first proper drive of the Defender since we did the clutch swap last year and I also forgot to mention the LOF power spec clutch and single mass flywheel and disco transfer case uh, job we did last summer as one of the mods we did last year and I need to do a review in fact um, of the uh, the disco transfer case swap uh, at some point because some of you have been asking me for that um, but anyway my point is that when you do uh, the uh, fit the new clutch and flywheel you need to do 500 miles which I think is 800 kilometers uh, of a running in period basically you can't just uh, go straight out after you fitted it and just uh, you know floor it everywhere and do hard launches and so on uh, so you need to be a little more bit bit more gentle while you you bed it in um, and believe it or not I think we did that back in last August and only in December of 2020 did I hit that 800 kilometer mark and actually see it still on my trip computer I saved the or set the trip basically just to count up to 800 kilometers so I knew when I would have finished that run-in period and it's only just uh, finished uh, and this is the first time I, I've I'm gonna take it out of the road and kind of give it some uh, since since we fitted the power spec clutch and single mass flywheel um, so that's gonna be a bit fun as well uh, as a first in this video so here we are yep <laughs> been waiting to do that for a while oh man see I knew it'd be worth saving it for this video get over still years after this remap was fitted get over how angry this can sound and it just pulls and pulls and pulls up that hill in fourth gear amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> so much fun Before I get too carried away, let's talk about the channel and how things are going to be expanding this year. We've got some big milestones coming up, 20,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. We just hit 17 at the end of last year, so huge thanks again for yet another milestone. So we're less than 3,000 away now from 20,000. We've got to find something special to do for that 20k mark. So if you have some ideas, then do leave them down in the comment section below. We're also going to be uh, we're also very close to 5,000 followers on Instagram. Um, and speaking of Instagram, that leads me really nicely into the next topic, uh, which is kind of expanding the TSBEC TV, uh, what do you say, like brand. And that's because we've launched a couple new Instagram pages. And before I get into this, this doesn't make any changes to you know the current YouTube channel, the current TSPEC TV Instagram page, anything like that. This is just to try and give you guys even more content, basically. Um, so on Instagram, we've launched two pages. Um, 
my indicator has gone a bit dodgy when I turned right now for some reason, so sorry that just distracted me there. We launched two new pages. First one is Tierspec TV News, and the second one is Tierspec TV Community. Now, Tierspec TV News is an Instagram page where we'll post um, basically news from the Land Rover world, the Land Rover community, um, and then the other one is Land, uh, Tierspec TV community where we'll be sharing your pictures, your projects, uh, and that sort of thing on there. Because those are two things I've really wanted to be able to share, um, but our main Tierspec TV page never felt like the right place to do it. Um, that's more for, you know, our vehicles, our projects, our videos, that's that's continuing the kind of Tierspec TV storyline, um, but we want to also share other kinds of content as well, hence why we've created these other, oh, why am I indicating, <laughs> hence why I've created these, uh, these other pages as well. So I'll put links down in the description and uh, handles on the screen and so on, um, but go give those a follow if you want a bit more from us, um, and if you tag us, tag Tierspec TV community in your posts, um, then you, you have the chance as well that we will actually feature your images on there. So earlier I went through the mods we did last year and a little bit of a teaser of what is coming very soon uh, for this Defender as well, and of course there'll be a, a, a bunch more surprises throughout the year, you know, there are some mods that I know uh, we are going to fit soon, um, but who knows what will come, you know, second half of the year, for example, um, because that's too far in the future for me to really predict what will come, so there will inevitably be surprises in terms of what we do with this Defender, but also all the other vehicles. We've got the Range Rover Classic, um, which we kind of revived uh, and uh, pulled out at the end of last year. That was the last video of last year, and that seemed to be a really, really popular uh, project if you like and there's more work we'd like to do to that Range Rover and it is our first proper Range Rover on the channel I mean it's the first time we've done anything with the Range Rover Classic um, So I'd love to see that come back on the channel this year and us do a bit more work on that then there's the 101 um, Also, we've got Nissa's 90 V8 which is long due a return to the channel and then the big one the creeper uh, which we also saw a also saw a return to the channel at the very uh, back end of last year with nissa uh, finally getting back into that project with some new parts he's got and i know there's more stuff on the way uh, and i think we will see big leaps in that project this year i think that covers everything i wanted to say for now so do remember to go and check out our new instagram pages Tierspec TV community and Tierspec TV news. Like I said, it won't change anything uh, about the main Tierspec TV page or our YouTube channel. That is going to stay exactly the same. Uh, just more and more content coming in. seems like a good place to end. I know this was a bit more of an admin update uh, video, but I can assure you that soon we will be back into the usual swing of mods and mucking around and so on and so forth, especially as hopefully the weather picks up or maybe we even get some snow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.